Paul Grayson is with us, the uh, Essex first team coach. Paul, we've just come back from Barbados and a worthwhile trip. Yeah, very much so. Uh, we're out there just part of two weeks. Um, good practice facilities. We practice at Carlton Creek Club where the net surface is excellent. Uh, good weather. Um, good to get all the players back together for a pre-season tour and also very pleasing to integrate the young three academy players back into the squad as well. So, uh, you know, really pleased how Ben Fox, Tamil Mills and Reese Topley fit into the side. Um, all three featured when we played out there in some matches. So um, it was a really good tour and it's uh, good to get back and get starting outdoor practice now as well. Yes, indeed. And would you look to those three and maybe others in uh, the younger boys at the at the club to be forcing their way into the first team squad this season, Paul? Yeah, I mean, what I saw those three boys while we were away, they uh, practiced very well. Um, their skill levels were excellent as well. So, yeah, when it comes down to selection this year, then them three are really going to put the name in the hat for, for selection. And uh, particularly uh, Reese Topley, who, who bowled in the two day match against Warwickshire, and also he played in the 2020 game against uh, Derbyshire. So, really pleased how he's done. Um, and I'll say all three of them as well. But, um, yeah, it was a good tour. Um, good to get one or two senior players back again as well that have been at home all winter as well. Yeah, indeed. And, uh, well, the topic of conversation, apart from the Barbados trip, um, at the moment has been the overseas player. Um, could you just update everybody on the current situation on that? Yeah, it's been a frustrating time. I have to say that, uh, you know, overseas players these days are very tough to get in. And if it was down to me, I would certainly not have overseas players at all for championship cricket, just keeping them for one-day cricket now. Um, because you spend so much time negotiating contracts and then they drop out and they're only here for a short period of time. So um, so it's been frustrating because we signed Peter Siddle. He would agreed a deal, but um, while we're away, we got a message from his agent that he'd pulled out for personal reasons. So we did have Plan B, which was Tim Southey. Tim agreed to join us. Unfortunately, he's just been offered a deal at the IPL, um, which he couldn't turn down. So we've lost Tim. Um, and at the moment we're in a process of speaking to agents um, around the world trying to get someone in for the next week's game against Kent you know we're, we're hopeful some, someone will be here next week uh, if it's not next week it'll be certainly the game at, at Lords the week after Right indeed, ok well thanks for updating us on that mentioning Kent, um, you're obviously one of the ambitions this season is to regain our place in the first division uh, it'd be nice to get off to a winning start we do need to hit the ground running really don't we looking ahead to that game against Kent um, it's going to be a tough one though isn't it yeah they're a good side Kent we've played them a lot of previous years one day cricket and championships so I certainly expect them to be there or thereabouts at the end of the season when promotion's out um, so they're a good side uh, and like you say it's important to start the season uh, on a good note and that's why we've been away on tour you know so make sure everyone's in fit and fresh so um, yeah it's going to be a tough start to the season because I think we've got eight matches championship matches in the first two months of the season so if we can make a real strong start to the season, particularly in that format, it'll set us up for the second half of the season, um, just before the 2020 kicks in. Yeah, indeed. And uh, a message to, to members um, at this stage of the season, a lot sort of uh, just uh, contemplate whether they're going to get behind the team and, uh, and what they're going to do. But I think over the past few years, they've had wonderful value for money from their membership. Um, can see no reason really why this should be any different. And uh, I'm sure your message is come along, get behind the team and support the boys all the way. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we like to pride ourselves on playing some exciting cricket. I think particularly the one days, there's been some brilliant matches here at Chelmsford. And the crowd certainly plays a big part in, uh, in creating such a good atmosphere on those nights. Championship cricket, we had some, some really good... Um, good games last year and um, the Yorkshire game stands out and the Notts game here so yeah I speak to anyone if they, if they want to see some, some good cricket and value for money then join Essex Cricket Club Paul that's excellent good luck to you and the boys for the season pleasure